Welcome back to yet another video about dangerous places that you probably don't want to visit. I know a lot of you out there do like to go out and explore, so I'm here to remind you of the places that will pump your adrenaline and challenge your inner adventurous spirit. Today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the most dangerous places on Earth. We're going to be revisiting some places we've actually seen in other videos, and presenting a new batch of places you've not seen before. After all, no place is that fun unless we add the word dangerous to it, as well as maybe throw in a little restricted as well. Make sure you stay with me all the way to number one so you can see a place on Earth that will make your bucket list. Or perhaps you'll add it to the list of places you never want to see in your life. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Lake Natron, Tanzania. We start this list with an all-time favorite, Lake Natron in Tanzania. Stepping close to this body of water will make you feel like you're in the middle of a horror film. Its water is pretty much lethal to humans. It has a high pH level between 9 and 10.5, a temperature as high as 60 degrees Celsius, and an overflow of salt. So what happens when you mix all of these things together? You get a substance that can easily calcify dead bodies and burn your skin within seconds. But you don't need to put yourself in the water just to know how bad it is. Just putting a printed shirt in the lake will show you how easily the ink can come off of it. Now, imagine if that ink was your skin. That would be scary. One time a group of documentary filmmakers were flying over the lake with a helicopter when they suddenly had an accident that made them crash into the waters of the lake. Most of the people got injured and one of them even said that his eyes had started to burn. Apparently this spot is popular for flamingos during mating season, so they wanted to document their behavior. Through this experience, they learned that flamingos indeed come to this lake during that time, just so they can stay away from predators. Even the scariest of all animals do know best to stay away from this corrosive lake. Number 9. Sana, Yemen. The Middle East is full of amazing secrets. In this part of the world, you can find a lot of cool cities in the midst of deserts and refreshing ocean waters. And one of the most amazing cities over there is Sana, the capital of Yemen. This place is famous because it is one of the oldest inhabited cities in the world. And it's also one of the highest capital cities today, elevated at 2300 meters over sea level. But unfortunately, the place is also one of the most dangerous spots on the planet due to terrorism that includes bombings and other violent acts that scare visitors away. Different authorities around the world discourage travelers from going there. Hopefully one day all this will change and a lot of us will be able to see this amazing city without fear. Number 8. North Sentinel Island. No list of dangerous places is complete without this unique island. After all, the place is forbidden and it shows us that there are still people out there who have never been in touch with modern day civilization. North Sentinel Island is forbidden and is dangerous. Local Indian laws say that you could never come closer than 5 kilometers to this island, and that's because the inhabitants of this place do not like outsiders, to the point that they could kill them. The most famous and recent story of attacks by Sentinelese is one of an American man in 2018 who tried to make contact with them. However, the man got killed while trying to reach the shores of their island. Now, I believe you all know what can happen to you if you decide to venture into this remote location. It's quite evident that these islanders want to stay away from the rest of the world, and I think we should honestly keep it that way. Number 7. Dalal, Ethiopia. Looking at pictures of Ethiopia makes me want to grab my bags and get on the next flight to that awesome country. With 80 different people groups, 200 languages, and a lot of UNESCO heritage sites, this place seems to be a great spot to explore. And I'd probably need more than just a couple of days to see what this country has to offer. But in the northern side of the country, there's a place that sounds interesting, but also quite scary. It is the ghost town of Dalol, one of the most remote and hottest places on our planet. The temperature during the year is around the 35 degrees Celsius, which can be tough even for those who love hot weather. I can't believe people used to live here in the past. Even the underground water is salty and full of acid. You can find geysers throughout the town. And I mean, that is kinda cool. Until you realize they release some toxic gases. So I guess Dalol won't make it to the list of towns I want to see in Ethiopia. Number 6. Mailusu, Kyrgyzstan. And here's another place you've probably seen in my other videos, and much like this time, I'm pretty sure I butchered the name. It's one of the most radioactive places on Earth. Mailusu, a small town in Kyrgyzstan, was the small town in charge of doing the mining and processing of uranium for the Soviet Union from the late 40s to the late 60s. However, the business was not as profitable as they thought, so the people working in the industry lost their jobs. However, after more than 20 years of having this industry active, a lot of the people started developing health problems. 
Although mining of uranium is not a thing anymore, the place is still considered dangerous. And that's because any natural disaster such as a landslide or an earthquake can increase the chances of radioactive contamination. I guess you won't want to be near this town if a natural disaster were to hit, but I don't think I want to be around it in general. Number 5. Lake Neos. Lakes are very cool places to go for a swim. Well, except for the aforementioned Salt Lake from before, but I digress. Some of them, however, are better left untouched. That is the case of Lake Neos on the northwest side of Cameroon. This body of water is right on top of an area known for its volcanic activity, which causes a leak of carbon dioxide from underground. Every now and then, this leaking turns into what is called limnic eruptions, which is when the carbon dioxide bursts out all the way from the bottom of the lake up to the surface in the form of a toxic cloud. The cloud lacks oxygen and sucks the life out of any living being around. Back in the 1980s, two eruptions ended the lives of more than 1,500 people and 3,000 animals. Now you know that even the most peaceful bodies of water can be dangerous when they're in such scary environments. Number 4. The Colorado River. The famous Colorado River is so long that it passes through five big states. California, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and of course, Colorado. This river, which is 2,300 kilometers long, even makes it through the famous Grand Canyon. For that reason, its waters are great for people who want to go out for a swim during the summer, or even other fun activities like water rafting and tubing. The problem is that a lot of people underestimate how dangerous this river can be, especially in the aftermath of unstoppable rains and right after melted snow makes its way to the waters. Once this happens, the waters rise and the speed of the current increases. Back in 2014, there were 15 people who died in the river. Usually, drowning happens as a result of people jumping in rough waters without the proper knowledge or equipment. So make sure you check out the Colorado River, but don't ruin your holiday fun by swimming in it without properly testing the waters. Better stay out and alive than lose your life in a river. Number 3. Fukushima, Japan The next dangerous place on this list became dangerous back in 2011 when a nuclear disaster hit the prefecture of Fukushima in the island of Honshu in Japan. It was considered the most severe nuclear disaster since Chernobyl over in the 80s, which I'm sure you learned about through the famous TV series that just came out. The Fukushima disaster started right after Japan was hit with an earthquake and a tsunami. There were explosions and multiple damages that resulted in radioactive contamination. The current high levels of radiation in the area make it one of the most dangerous places to visit. Chris Busby, a professor from the University of Ols, claims that Fukushima's disaster was worse than the one over in Chernobyl. That disaster back in the 80s went up in one go, and it was horrifyingly scary, but it was fast. Meanwhile, according to Busby, Fukushima is still boiling its radionuclides all over Japan. Busby is also known to be an alarmist and claimed that the incident was going to claim the lives of a million people, but the number of deaths is low so far, and people from the Japanese government have been doing their best to educate their population and prevent them from any damage that the radiation may cause to their lives. Now it's time for the day's best pick. I have a picture that a lot of you will recognize. Well, that is if you love swimming. It's a famous swimming hole over in Texas, but also a very dangerous one. Do you know what it's called? Well, you do now because it is number two, Jacob's Well. This lake in Texas is located in Hayes County, just an hour southwest of Austin. The swimming hole is attracted to swimmers for the simple fact that it's so clear that you can see its bottom. It's dangerous, but not because of its waters. In fact, there's nothing wrong with going in for a quick dip and refreshing yourself after a long day under the sun. But what makes this place dangerous is its system of underwater caves and tunnels where a lot of people have gone missing. Since the water is so clear, you can spot the entrance of these passages without any real problems. But once you're in, you're in total darkness. But even though it is a dangerous spot, that hasn't stopped some people from making a lifestyle out of it. This place has proven to be the ultimate spot for free divers and scuba divers in the region to come and test their skills. Back in 2015, Diego Adami, a free diver from San Antonio, lost his flipper while exploring one of those underwater caves. He had to remove his weight belt just so he could go back to the surface before he ran out of air. He literally saw his light before his eyes, but he did make it out alive. There have been at least nine deaths at this spot. Two of them happened in 1979, and it took two years for people to find one of those bodies. The other one didn't come out until the year 2000, and that's 21 years later. That shows you just how bad it can be to get lost in those caves, so make sure you know what you're doing if you ever do go down there. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe, 
subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, Half Dome, California. For the place at the top of this list, I decided to stay away from crime-ridden cities and mysterious spots that you've heard about before. Instead, I'm giving you what some people would call the most dangerous hiking spot in the national park. The Half Dome is a famous hiking spot in Yosemite, California. Every year, the team at Yosemite get at least 100 calls from people asking for help. Most of the times, it's people who are dehydrated, out of shape, or ill, and all of those conditions can make this hike even more difficult than what it already is. The hike requires you to pass through a lot of waterfalls in which you can easily slip and fall to your death. Once you approach the last 100 meters of the hike, you will find a series of cables that will lead you through the steep and vertical summit. People at the park say that this is the spot where most fatalities happen, and for that reason, they recommend people to have proper shoes and gloves, and to take their time to make it to the top. Once you see beyond those dangers, the Half Dome surely does look like a very impressive place to go for a hike. And those are all the dangerous places I have for you today. Would you dare to visit them all, or at least one of them? Some of them, maybe? Or maybe there's another dangerous place that you want to tell us about. Let us know in the comment section down below, and with all that done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.